I hope you guys are doing well. You can kind of see my the framing of my, my green screen here, which that's kind of annoying, but it's whatever. Anyway, we're gonna make another video with you guys today. I got three more pots coming up. The <laughs> pots won't be as tall as the other ones. This clay's a little bit softer, so I'm gonna, hopefully you guys can keep that in mind as you're watching on online. You know, why are these pots not as big as the ones yesterday? Well, the clay's a little bit softer. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna get right into it. I'll see you guys over there in just a second. Peace. All right, especially when I do my throw in here. But I could probably turn this up just a little bit. Okay. We're gonna get right into it, guys. Today I had so much energy. So hopefully some of that energy translates to the pots. on the top, push that down, bring that fist right towards your palm, centered, into the bottom, opening up the bottom of this clay, a little bit of water, really having your fingers on that bottom of that edge, open that up, nice, smooth out the bottom ever so slightly, nice, nice little spiral on the inside, bring this up, Looking pretty good. Where's my sponge at? Ah. Wait, what the heck? Oh, why is it? All right. Well. Oh, I hope I didn't get clay on that. Anyway, okay, we got the sponge. First pole. Said, hey there, what you got for me down here, little buddy? Oh, a little bump. I'll take that all the way up to the top of the pot, thanks. Wow, pretty good. And then you close that up, you go back down to the bottom, say, oh, wait, you have another job for me? What do you want me to do? Another bump? Sure thing, I got gotcha. you. Take you all the way up to the top of that pot there. Look at that, closing this top rim ever so slightly. You don't want to go too, too fast on there. I went too fast on there. <laughs> That's okay. Back down to the bottom of the pot. And I'm gonna start pushing some of this clay down. Allow my finger just to rise right over that edge. I feel like I'm fighting a boss in a video game right now. All right, we got some really nice wall pulls here. And like I said, not tall, we're going a little bit wider instead of height, just because the clay is pretty soft. Make a little separation, here we go. And now I'll use my final move. Slice up the side of the pot. Breathing clay, form three. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa, emphasize, 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 emphasize. Push those in. Well, here we go. The big moment. Final combo breaker move. <sighs> Take that down. Combo breaker move finished. Clay soft. Careful, move pot slowly. If pot moves too fast, collapses intimate. Intimate? 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 Inti whatever. I always, I can't say that word. Intimate? In internet. Inten. Intim. Im. Imp. Imp. Im. Man, I really wish I could say that. Imminent. Imminent. Collapses intimate. Man, why is that word so hard for me to say? <laughs> I wonder if you guys have words that are difficult for you to say. Like for me, that word is, I cannot say that word for the life of me. All right, and it's pretty thin on this bottom, so we're gonna go with some long tendril strings. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, look at that, seven. And then we're gonna emphasize, 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 done. Get this right on the bottom. Take this right off. Ah, there we go. Look at that, number one. Finished, looking good. Look at this little cave up in there. Pretty cool. Anyway, take this pot right off the top there. Set it down over here. Sweet, okay, here we are. Number two is cooking up. Flying through these today. I gotta catch up on some, making some shorts for all the other days that I've been kind of, I've been missing, but I'm just got backtracked with uh, like making like yesterday, I had like the, the edited short of me dancing or talking as the Joker. And so I got a little bit further behind on what I'd like, but I think sometimes it's good. I usually I try to post every two hours with my shorts, but it's, uh, it ebbs and flows too. So like sometimes if I post a bunch for a long period of time, like for a week straight, then all of a sudden I won't get any views on any of them it seems like. Um, and so sometimes a break for a day or even a couple hours kind of gets it enough time to kind of reset. Okay, so I felt like I was ripping that there. So picking this up. Hand on the bottom. Take that up. Look me curve that up so I can scoop it right back up, right? So that's what I'm doing at that very end when I do that little swap. I'm taking that and I'm switching it. Here, I'll do it one more time so you guys can see a little bit better. I'll talk my way through it. We're taking that clay up, saying, hey, hey, ooh, almost just pulled the bat right off the, the wheel. I actually can get probably one more. You see, I'm, I'm bending it almost forward to keep it straight, right? If you just try to keep it straight, it's not gonna stay straight. You have to like literally bend it forward or to the side, right? To, as you're pushing it up with this bottom hand here to keep it straight, right? And so here we go. We're taking this little edge and we're saying, hey, turn over. And we're slowly pushing this down. It's gonna wanna buckle probably like halfway through. And so you see I'm tilting it forward a little bit just to guide that down. And so when you see people doing those really tall poles, it's really all about having the clay ever so slightly tilt forward, right? Or you can go pretty drastic if your clay is pretty stiff or pretty plastic, not stiff. Um, and then that will, it will pretty much flow. But I like to just do it very slightly when you're t very tall, because that's how you keep it on center. Just a little bit, because the clay is gonna wanna naturally move wherever your hands aren't. Right, so if you leave some space there, you can really get that clay down to where you want, and then you can just do the last thing, bring your fist right on your, called the hammer fist, and bring it towards your palm. And you got something that's pretty, pretty dang centered, you know. There's a little bit of undulation, but that's like within tolerance, you know what I mean? Anyway, we'll do one more. Now it's like freaking pristine. Going down to the bottom, push down. Nice. 
take some water on this bottom edge. Here I'm making my captain hook finger and I'm pulling that out. Nice. Taking my hand, smoothing out that bottom ever so slightly, bring that clay out to the edge there. Do it one more time with a little bit wider of a, a pull. And then I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna try to cup up underneath and keep my palm down. Then I'm gonna be bringing this up, right? So I can start bringing in some of that volcano's base inward, right? Because it was a little bit wide there. It's gonna get a little bit back on wide because I, I'm gonna make the pots that way today. But if you wanna get like straight cylinders, that's the way to do it, right? You always get those volcanoes and you, every single time, like even here, what I would do if I wanted to get a taller cylinder, I take that edge in. Some people can press rims. I still am not convinced on that yet. And I go back to the bottom. I take some of this clay. I say, hey, hope you're doing well today. Oh, my day? My day, Clay? My day was amazing. It was so cool. I felt like all the people I talked to today were like, Oh, I felt like I was plugged into the wall and charged up with energy. Thanks for asking, Clay. Right? Sometimes the clay is nice. Thank you, Clay. Thank you. And then, I'm going to take this top edge in. It's pretty thin on this top edge. So we probably, realistically, we got one more pull, and it's not even going to be a full pull. Right? And so here we are, back to the bottom, saying, hey, how you doing? I know I was just here, but I heard you got another, another package for me. Oh, a ring for me? Oh, thank you so much, Pot. Take that all the way up the edge. And look at the angle in which my hand's coming out in. Look at how drastic that angle is on my fingers coming out, right? That's really, that's a super important for when you're doing poles. At least when you get to the top, right? I found if I don't do that when I get to the top, I end up twisting and torquing that bottom. So you really want to take that out. Okay. So here we go. <sighs> What's this? My enemy. Slicer, the clay, clay slice man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. What's that? Is it collapsing? Catch the collapse. Taking my fingers out slowly and then instead of going out we're going to take our fingers we're going to go upward a little bit nice look at that guys we are tree is now completed sometimes if you know you're thin on the top going upward with your fingers instead of outward is ideal right this one i already feel like is probably going to collapse maybe in one of these corners i'm not sure but i have a really nice fold on the interior. I, you guys can't really see the full fold on the bottom, but the interior here looks just perfect. If, and if you guys have any recommendations on wireless uh, headsets, right, for camera, like a camera headset, let me know, because I just, my GoPro hasn't been working and it's such a hassle to get up. I feel like half the times it's connected and half the time it doesn't even want to connect. So it's just like a battle with it. But if you guys have a recommendation on something, let me know. I was thinking about getting the media, the media attachment for the GoPro, and then I don't know. I think it just. I'd rather just get a wireless camera that I can wear on my head that just automatically transmits over. Look at how it's collapsing here. I gotta be quick. I gotta stop fooling around because it's wanting to collapse here. Pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Chill out. Chill out. Chill out, not yet, not yet. That voice I'm borrowing from a friend of mine. I don't know if you guys ever do that, but if you're around your friends quite a bit, they start to like rub off on you with their words and what they say. Oftentimes I find myself talking in a voice and I'm like, oh wait, like my friend did that. I totally mean, I'm like, I don't like to say I'm copying them, but that's really what it is, I'm copying them. But I like to say they're like positively influencing my speech, right? Add some flowery words in there and then all of a sudden it seems like a really, really uh, non-pejorative thing. What's the opposite of non-pejorative? I guess just good. Curly's up. 
And you can really feel this is wanting to tip over here, right? Curly's in. Not yet, buddy. Not yet. Okay. And then go to the bottom here with that sponge wherever it's at. And we could take these these edges in, but on this one I feel like it kind of looks nice. So I'm going to keep them as is. Okay. Oh my gosh. Alright. Fixing the collapse a little bit so now it's totally okay. Whoa. Sometimes they're going to collapse more on one side than others depending on how even your, your striations, your your veins on the pot were and I don't know like if you just allow it to lean in one direction it evens out sometimes depending obviously on the veins that you make you know recently I've looking at a lot of the pots on the floor over here and I'm just seeing like oh there's quite a few that are fallen I have quite a few fallen ones which I think a lot of them are pretty pretty cool actually there's some that when they fall, they break off certain parts depending on what time they fall at, right? Because they dry differently depending on how thin or thick the top's rims are. And usually the rims, since I go to outward, are pretty thin compared to the rest of the pots, right? And so it's kind of a fun thing to, I don't know, like see how every pot, I don't know, what's the right word? Finishes itself, right? Like. Sometimes, like when I come down here after I'm done throwing, the pot looks totally different, right? Whether it's settled down or tipped over while I was away. And so that's always been kind of fun where, like, as I'm leaving the, the pots, they just say, all right, I'm going to be like this. I'm going to finish my, myself in this way, right? And so it's kind of fun to come down and see just what happened down here. Sometimes it's chaos. There's some days where I come down and everything's just dead. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta make some more. Ooh, taking that up the side of the pot. You can see that's a little ripple right here. I feel that there's like an air bubble or something. We're gonna go right underneath there. Oh, hey, chill out. And I see how I'm pushing it over to the side here. Well, I didn't keep it on the center there, but. Down, up. Nice, up. No, chill. Out. I tried to do one hand, but I was too, it's too thin. I gotta, if I do one hand, I gotta do them at like, I like here, right? That's how it kind of stays on center there. I cut off quite a bit of clay when I was doing that, so that's unfortunate. I probably cut off, I don't know. One tenth, maybe even less than that. But that does affect it, you know, that's like, it's like an extra centimeter or two on the pot top, right? Okay. Take that middle out. Nice little spiral on the inside there. Compression is down. Okay. Here we go, a little bit more water on the top edge there. Curl that over. Great. Ooh, it's getting pretty thin in that middle edge. You see it's starting to buckle? Chill out there, buddy. 
Okay, we got probably one more pole in this. So I'm gonna take this top rim. I'm gonna condense this in a little bit, wrap my finger right around there. Well, it's a little bit thin right under that rim, so to give it one little pull, you can see it really starting to buckle now. So we gotta be careful in that area. Get some more water right down on my hand and then drag that little bump down. There you go. Say, all right, hey, I know you're kind of mad at me right now, Pop, but really, I need you to chill out so I can get a nice undulation. Come on, please. Not yet. Not yet. <sighs> All right, that's as much as we can do. I hope the collapse is strong enough so I can hold that top and any more and that's just done. All right. Going a little bit too thin. But that's okay. Here we are. Oh no. That's really weird how this is collapsing. But really just let it nest on itself here. So then when you can go out again, let's top rim. All right, well, we're just gonna allow this to kind of get wonky. Oh, a little rip there too on the top. And we'll take this and we'll just tuck it in like that. It's like a little mouth on the side there. <laughs> so this one got loose, but sometimes you just gotta allow it to totally get loose. There's elements in a pot that you can save it in, right? Like these pots aren't done yet you know what i mean there's so many things that i could add to this by pinning things inside or having things occur on the outside that can bring more intention into the pot i think things that are going with me on this is the top that little rip there i made it feel intentional this bottom i'm going to make it feel intentional this interior spiral that's happening it feels somewhat intentional patterns are a good way to show intention in a pot right and so this one's really teetering on the edge, but I think there's some funky things happening on the top that I, I think have potential for the future of when I go to glaze these things, right? Okay. Right up underneath. Look at that. What are we thinking? I think we do some long curls. Long curls, when I see stuff like this, I just imagine really long curls. This looks like maybe a three or a four. Let's try to get four though. Stop there. We wanna see if we can get four. I think four gives us more, more uh, room to have some interaction between the, the tendrils here. And so when I see this one, I see it kind of banking out on this little ledge here. You'll see it in a second. All right, I'm gonna curl that up by the way. I'm taking this one, and when I see this thing, oh, well I don't see it ripped off like what I just did. So I'm gonna curl this up and have it, again, holding that edge there, right? When I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh gosh, really messed that one up. That's okay. Take this in, have it go on the side here, have it twist again, and then have it come out on the pot. So it's almost like it's floating. And stick it off to the side, nice. And have this one come back we want this underneath the tandra so it almost looks like they're trying to reach each other. And then bringing that back over. Look at that. Take this up. Take that up. We'll take that up there. We'll take that up there. And we'll take these up too. Okay. Great. Now we're back at the bottom. Taking this out. Dang, we're already at three. Man, how fast is that? 20... I can't tell if it's 25 or 26. But that was pretty quick. 
you know, I was talking a lot. All right, I feel like this one deserves to be in the front. This one kind of has this, there's something kind of like freaking spooky about this pot. Like, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you. I hope you guys enjoy these pots over here. I think realistically, this one turned out cool. The one on the top, okay. But the one on the far side, you know, when I was making it, I wasn't <laughs> vibing with it. But now that I'm looking at it, there's something very apple tree-like on that one. But anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. All the best. Strong mentality. Demon out. <laughs>